Where is our C1 certificate? By our side of those students. At AOE State Run Language Schools, you get free and top quality language lessons for everybody, but now you cannot get a certificate crediting an advanced level. Avanzado 2, a B2, stands for an upper intermediate level. We've got the schools, we've got the teachers, we've got the students. Where are our certificates? Hello, we are a group of friends and we are here today to, to record uh, the first episode of the first season of Friends. And the title of this episode is The One Where Monica Gets a New Roommate. I'm Charo and I'm going to play the role of um, Phoebe. I'm Monica. Um, I'm playing uh, Rose. I am Charo. I'm Joy. And I'm going to play Rachel. Scene. Central Perk. Chandler, Joey, Phoebe and Monica are there. There's nothing to tell. He's just some guy I work with. Come on, you are going with the guy. There's going to be something wrong with him. Alright, Joey. Be nice. So let's have a hand. A hand on her piece. Wait, does he eat chalk? Just because I don't want her to go through what I went through with her. Okay, everybody relax. This is not even a date. It's just two people going out to dinner and not having sex. Sounds like a date to Time lapse. Alright, so I'm back in high school. I'm standing in the middle of the cafeteria. And I realize I am totally naked. Oh, oh yeah, I had a dream. Then I look down and I realize there is a phone there. Instead of? That's right. We never had that dream. No. All of a sudden, the phone starts to ring. Now I don't know what to do. Everybody starts looking at me. And they weren't looking at, looking at you before. Finally, I feel we have better answer it. And it turns out it's my mother, which is very, very weird, because she never calls me. <coughs> Time lapse. Ross has entered. Hi. This guy says hello. I want to kill myself. Are you okay, sweetie? I just feel like some, like someone reached down my throat, grabbed my small intestine, pulled it out my mouth, and tied it around my neck. Cookie. Carol moved her stuff out today. Oh. Let me get you some coffee. Thanks. Oh, 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 no, no, don't, stop placing my aura, no, just leave my aura alone, okay? Fine, but Marky, I'll be fine, alright, really, everyone, I hope she'll be very happy. No, you don't. No, I don't, to hell with her, she left me. And you never knew she was a lesbian? No, okay, what does everybody keep fixating on that? She didn't know, how should I know? Sometimes I wish I was a lesbian. Oh, did I say that out loud? <laughs> I told Mon and Dad last night. They seem to take it pretty well. Oh, really? So that hysterical phone call I got from a woman at so in 3 a.m. I never had, I never had grandchildren. I never had grandchildren. Was that was what a wrong number? Sorry. Or oh, you must look. You are feeling a lot of pain right now. You are angry. You are hurting. Can I tell you what? The answer is strip joint. Come on, you are single. Have some problems. I don't want to be single, okay? I just, I just want to be to be married again. Rachel enters in a wet wedding dress and starts to search the room. And I just want a million dollars. Rachel? Oh God, Monica, hi. Thank God. I just went to your building and you weren't there and then this guy with a big hammer said you might be here and you are. You are. Can I get you some coffee? Uh, dick, dick up. Okay, everybody, uh, this is Rachel, another link on High Survivor. This is everybody. Um, this is uh, Chandler, Phoebe 
and Joey, and you remember my brother Ross? Hi, sure. Hi! <laughs> they go to hug, but Ross's umbrella opens. He sits back down, defeated again. A moment of silence follows as Rachel sits and the others expect her to explain. So you want to tell us now or are we waiting for four weight breakmates? Oh god, well, it just started about, about ha half hour before the wedding. I was in the room when we were keeping all the presents and I was looking at this gravy boat, this really gorgeous Lamont gravy boat, when all of a sudden, soon and low, I realized that I was more turned on by this gravy boat than by Barbie. And then I got really freaked out, and that's when it hit me. How much Barry looks like in Mr. Potato Hell. You know, I mean, I always knew he looked familiar, but anyway, I just had to get out of there, and I started wondering, why am I doing this, and who am I doing this for? So, anyway, I just didn't know where to go, and I know that you and I have kind of drifted apart, but you're the only person I knew who lived here in the city. Who wasn't invited to the wedding. Oh, I was kind of hoping that, could, that couldn't be an issue. Okay, scene. Monica's apartment. Everybody is there and watching a Spanish soap on TV and are trying to figure out what is going on. Now I'm guessing that he bought her the, the big pipe organ and she's really not happy about it. Do not exhale. I have whatever Christine's having. Daddy, I just, I can't marry him. I'm sorry. I just don't love him. Well, it matters to me. The scene on TV has changed to show two women. One is holding her hair. If I let go of my hair, my hair will fall off. Oh, she should not be wearing those pants. I say push her down the stairs. 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 She is pushed down the stairs and everybody cheers. Yeah. <laughs> Come on, Daddy, listen to me. It's like, it's like all of my life, everyone has always told me, you're a zoo, you're a zoo, you're a zoo, you're a zoo. And today, I just stopped and I said, what if I don't want to be a zoo? What if I want to be a, a purse, you know, or a, or a hat? No, I'm not saying I want you to buy me a hat. I'm saying I'm a hat. It's a metaphor, Daddy. You can see where he'd have trouble. Look, Daddy, it's my life. Well, maybe I'll just stay here with Monica. Well, I guess we've established who's staying here with Monica. Well, maybe that's my decision. Well, maybe I don't need your money. Wait, wait, I said maybe. Time lapse. Rachel is breathing into a paper bag. Just breathe, breathe. Uh, that, that's it. Just try to think of nice, calm things. Marine Dorsum, roses, and babies, and hidden. Blue bells and slavers, and something with mittens. La 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 la, something and others twisting. These are a few things. I'm a, I'm a little man. Uh, Phoebe grins and walks to the kitchen and says to Chandler and Joey, okay, to the kitchen. Okay, look, this is probably for the best, you know, independence, taking control of your, of your life, the whole half thing. And hey, you need anything. You can always come to Joey, me and Chandler live across the hall, and he's away a lot. Joey, stop hitting on her, it's her wedding day. What? Like there is a rule or something? Excellent. <laughs>